I've got Demo 19 Project in the Project Manager. I've also got Demo 02 open there as well. But you'll notice we've got this other drawing, Symbol 1. Now I've saved this in the Block Library path for AutoCAD Electrical for this particular installation. And you'll see why in a moment. We're going to look at creating a new symbol in our AutoCAD Electrical database. So, Schematic tab on the ribbon, Other Tools panel, click on this flyout here, Symbol Builder. Now, because I've already saved that Symbol 1 drawing in the right location, I can click on Browse, and I can go and find it here in the JIC125 folder, which is the library file folder for the imperial size blocks for AutoCAD Electrical. Now, I know it's called Symbol 1, so I can type in Symbol 1, and there it is there, Symbol1.dwg, click on Open, and everything has now been set up for me. I don't need to worry about selecting objects, don't need to worry about an insertion point, and also all I need to worry about is horizontal parent or child or whatever. So I'm going to call it horizontal parent, and what type of symbol it's going to be. It's going to be a generic one. So I click on OK now, and what you'll find is everything changes. We're now in the AutoCAD block editor, but we've also got this here, a symbol builder attribute editor. Now, the reason we've got that is we're building an AutoCAD electrical symbol. Now, there are some required fields. So in here, I'm going to give it the same name. I'm just going to type in each one of these, and you'll notice I'm just replicating the label in each field. So I'm typing all of these in. Obviously, you would make sure that these are much more relevant. So that's going to be DESC1, and then we've got DESC2, and then DESC3. Now, these ones here, I'm just going to put INST for installation, LOC for location, and then in here, XREF. That's all I'm going to put in. I can do a symbol audit there, and it's going to tell me now that I'm missing the required attributes because I haven't saved the block yet. So those are the required attributes that I've just typed in, so I can cancel that for the moment. You'll notice we're in the Block Editor tab up here on the ribbon. So we've got our Block Authoring palettes, but also we get the Symbol Builder Attribute Editor. I go to the Symbol Builder tab here, and I click on Done. I've got a Catalog Lookup, which is user-defined. It's got a unique identifier, and it's got a symbol name, Symbol 1. I need to put it into a file path. So the file path is here for the symbol itself. So if I go there and scroll down, that's all the way down in my JIC125 folder there, which is where I want it to be, so that's fine. I need to specify a base point of the object in the block editor. So I pick point again, and I've got to pick the center snap there of my circle. So what I'll do is I'll go down to object snaps here, make sure that center is on, and then click in the drawing area, and I've got to get that center snap. So I'm going to need to move my symbol attribute editor over here. Don't dock it, just move it over there like that. And then I'll get the center snap there. There we go, so that's done. There's the icon image, and it's saving that as a PNG file, and that's where the file path of the PNG is going. So now what I can do is click on OK. The file already exists. Yes, it does. So I'm going to overwrite it by saying yes, and that's done. So what I've done there now is I've saved that symbol to my block library in my AutoCAD electrical drawings. So what you can do there is create your own symbols if you need to. So if I just double click on the wheel now, there's my symbol there, all nicely centered with the center point. And I can then obviously create links to my AutoCAD electrical project with that symbol if I want to. We're still in the Demo 19 project, and I've got the drawing Demo 02 open. We're not going to use it, though. What we're going to look at is editing our existing symbol library. The way that you do this is quite literally editing the attributes for each symbol in their own separate DWG file. So if I go up to Open now, what I've done is I've deliberately left it hooked up with the JIC125 folder which is located in my public folders for this particular AutoCAD electrical installation. I'm going to select this particular drawing here. Look at the name of the file. It's PLCIOI2TV. PLC obviously stands for Programmable Logic Controller. Input Output IO, and it's an individual, so I, and then the 2, and then T, and then V. The V indicates it's a vertical PLC input output terminal strip. 
So basically, that T tells me it's a terminal strip. The PLC bit tells me that it is actually part of a PLC programmable logic controller when you bring this symbol into the drawing. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. If I just pan this up a little bit, all you can see is text. All of these attributes you must not change. You must not change them, you must not delete them, because they are the things that actually link up to the AutoCAD Electrical Database and allow this particular symbol to utilize the AutoCAD Electrical features. But you can see things like, there's the installation and location, tag one, so there's the component tag, the XREF, line one, line two, there's all your description fields, catalog, manufacturer, and you can see here, term description. So it's a terminal description. So it's obviously a terminal block that links to a PLC in a panel drawing. So this is how you can go in and edit. And you'll notice there's not actually that much CAD information. It's all attribute driven because it links to the database. If I zoom in real close, you can see that there's the lines that make up that particular strip. But if I zoom in even closer, I've got things like family and these little attributes here. Now, these are the attributes that you must not remove. They're the ones that are very important. So you've got assembly code as well. So these are the ones that you must not remove on your AutoCAD drawing for this particular symbol. Now, I'm not going to go into any more detail. I don't want you to make any changes either, because that could obviously affect the database. But when you get to an intermediate level with AutoCAD Electrical, this is the sort of editing you can do and create your own symbols and add all of these attributes to it, either here or in the block editor in AutoCAD Electrical, to start developing your own symbol libraries. When you're working with your symbols in your AutoCAD Electrical drawings, especially things like schematic component symbols, you can go to the Project tab, and use the Mark Verify Drawings utility to track changes in a drawing. Now we're still in the Demo 19 project and we're still in our trusty Demo 02 drawing. So I'm going to go to the Project tab, click on Mark Verify Drawings there in the Project Tools panel. Now I'm going to mark or verify a drawing or a project, so you can do it project-wide or just for the active drawing that you're in. So I'm going to do it for the active drawing and I'm going to verify for any changes since marked the previous time. So if I click on OK, no mark data was found. That's because I haven't done a mark yet on this particular drawing. So you might get that come up. So I'll OK it. I go back to Mark Verify Drawings. This time I need to mark the AutoCAD electrical components, the symbols. I'm going to include any non-AutoCAD electrical blocks. I'm going to include lines and wires. Now you'll notice there's a previous one there showing up. But that last report is blank, no mark data found. So if I now run it this time, I can put the initials, so I'll put my initials in there, and I'll put this as first pass. So this is my first pass for marking on this particular drawing. So I'll OK that now. So it's going through, it's checking everything for me, and nothing's come up. So if I go back to Mark Verify Drawings now, it's marked, and there's active drawing statistics and so on. So I'm going to cancel that now, and I'm going to verify, check for changes since Mark. So let's cancel that, and let's make a change. So I'm going to zoom in, and I've got my pilot light here. I'm going to change that. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go to Edit Component. I'm going to change that component tag there to 300, and I'll OK that. So that's changed. Can you see that pilot light now has a tag of LT300? So if I now mark Verify Drawings and verify and check for changes since marked, and I OK that, there you go. LT300 has changed, and the old number was LT102. So I can save that if I want to. I can print it out. I can surf to it if I want to and display in report format. So there's my report format there, and I can send out a report based on the fact that I've marked and verified that particular drawing. So that's how that Mark Verify works. It allows me to check what changes have been made drawing-wise or project-wise. And you'll notice when I come back into the drawing, it's highlighted the change with a little red diamond there. As soon as I zoom out, though, that disappears. But I can surf to each change using the Surfer tool as well, which is another really neat facility when you're marking and verifying drawings. 
Another excellent tool in AutoCAD Electrical that you can utilize in your drawings is the Utilities function. Now we're still in the Demo 19 project, we're still in drawing Demo 02. I've gone to the Project tab on the ribbon and we're in Project Tools and you want Utilities here. Now you'll notice that this is all to do with wires, wire numbers and also down here, blocks. Now you can run script files, you can import wire types from a specified drawing, you can change attributes and attribute size if you want to, you can change signal arrow cross-reference text. There's lots of information that you can change within your actual project, but this is project-wide. So when you make these changes, it's going to change everything in your entire AutoCAD electrical project. So I could erase all the wire numbers. I could keep all the fixed wire numbers. I can reset all the wire numbers to question mark. An excellent facility when you want to copy an existing AutoCAD electrical project that you want to use for a new project. So you don't want the same wire numbers, you might want to change it. You can fix and unfix the wire numbers. The setup for the attributes is excellent. You can go in and change all the tags. You can define the height and the width if you want to. And it's the same here with the style. I can go in and change the actual font name so I can update it. You might need to change the font name to something different, like maybe, let's say, Tahoma. Let's go to Tahoma down here. Scroll down the list. There we go. There's Tahoma there. I click on OK, and I'm changing the style. As soon as I click on OK, that's going to update my entire project. So I'm not going to bore you with watching each drawing save and go through. That will just waste time. But you could do that by just doing change style, change the font, click on OK. You can change the entire font of every label within every drawing in your AutoCAD electrical project. So project-wide utilities is a very, very useful function, but just take care with it, because once you've clicked on OK, it's going to change your entire project.